Welcome to the Waffle Flower Channel. Hi everyone, Katie Gehring here. On today's Throwback Thursday, I'm going to show you how I made this tropical birthday card using the new greenery die combined with the balloon messages stamp set. So to start, I wanna create a background that I'm going to use to die cut these greenery leaves and fronds. So to do that, I pulled out a couple pieces of Distress Watercolor cardstock and some Distress ink. I'm using Cracked Pistachio, Twisted Citron, and Lucky Clover. And I'm just starting by adding a base layer of color to the cardstock using a few different shades of the Distress ink. I'm going to work back and forth between the two pieces of cardstock that I have here. And what I'm really trying to do is just add an even, um, if not a little bit splotchy, base color. And then I'm going to dry that and then come back in with a little bit more pigment so I get some more variation and interest in the watercolor panels. So because I'm too impatient to wait for these to dry on their own, I am adding some heat using a heat tool to help quicken the drying process. And I'm heating both sides of the cardstock because that's going to help the cardstock um, dry flat. Now I'm going back in um, with another layer of the Distress inks. And to help make sure that my cardstock doesn't warp too much, I went ahead and I taped it down to my craft mat using just some washi tape. Um, I've seen a lot of people tape it onto a um, wooden cutting board and I'm sure that that works really, really well um, too, but I was just um, using what I had available to me right now. So when you're watercoloring, if you go in with layers like this, kind of drying things in between your coats, that's really what's going to give you that beautiful variated look. So I have finished with the smaller panel and now I'm adding some extra drips and drops and um, pigment to the larger panel of the white cardstock. And once that is finished, I'm going to apply a little bit of heat here and then I will be ready to take the finished panels and the greenery dies, and then I will die cut to the leaf shapes onto the watercolor panel. So here is the finished watercolor panels, lots of variation in them, and then I'm going to die cut them with the greenery dies. So now you can see the pile of pretty leaves that I've cut with the greenery dye using the watercolor cardstock that I just created. And so now I've moved on to creating a background and I'm looking to add some Distress ink to a panel of the Distress specialty stamping paper um, in shades of kind of a yellowy gold. So I'm starting off with scattered straw and then I'm going to add some fossilized amber and then a little bit of wild honey to boot um, along the very end. So I'm starting in kind of a circular motion um, and then just working my way out to the very edges. And since I end up covering the the entire um, panel with the ink. I probably could have started at one end of the cardstock or another, but this was one of those things that I just decided to see where the ink decided to take me, and um, it took me all the way to the edge of the cardstock as it sometimes happens. Here is my panel of inked cardstock, and I know this is a trick that we've all seen before, but I sprayed the cardstock with some water using a distress sprayer, and I'm just blotting it up. And I just love that um, distress ink reacts this way with water. It looks like Boca dot so pretty and so I'm also just going in with a little bit of spray ink um, this is by Dilutions it's their black ink and um, I just spattered a little bit on there and um, I do hit it with a heat gun um, pretty well before I um, add my leaves as you see here because I just want to make sure that that um, spray ink in particular has an opportunity to dry before I start layering things on top of it.
So now I'm figuring out the placement for the leaves that I've die cut and you can see the beautiful variation that I was able to achieve um, using the watercolor paper. So I've got some of these tacked down and now I need to figure out how I'm going to create my sentiment. And I'm going to use a sentiment from the Balloon Messages stamp set. Um, it has a really beautiful scripty brush font in it. Um, so I've stamped the happy birthday in black ink onto a banner and I die cut the edge of the banner with the pinking layers die and adhered it to the card with a bit of foam tape. So now I'm just adding a couple more of the leaves um, that I had die cut earlier from the water watercolor panel and just making sure that all of that is adhered down and I will trim off the leaves that are kind of hanging from the edges so that everything is flush with the card. And my final step just to finish off the card and add a little bit of sparkle because I love me some sparkle is to add some clear sequins and I'm using glossy accents as the glue to adhere them to the card. I'm going to be wrapping this project up, but if there is an older waffle flower stamp set or die that you would like to see featured on an upcoming episode of Throwback Thursday, just leave me a comment below. For more information about the products that I used on this card, visit waffleflower.com. Be sure to visit us on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram for even more creative ideas. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. Have a great day.